Hi guys. Today I'll be doing the extraction of carbon electrode, zinc metal, and manganese dioxide. And this is the battery I'm using to extract it. So the tool you'll be needing is this. So first just take off the outer shell and it's made out of metal. So it's pretty easy to take off. So I'll show you when it's done. After taking the metal part off, you should just okay it already came off. Just take this off with some pliers. That's what I'd be doing. It's pretty hard. We just first take off the plastic off. So with the pliers take that hard plastic off. And the liner came off. Not the plastic. Okay, you see it's coming off. And all this right here is pure zinc metal. Not pure, but usable zinc metal. Like to make zinc sulfate from one of my previous videos. Okay. That's about it. And you see that right there? That's the carbon electrode. And these batteries, well, I don't know, but I don't, I don't think they <coughs> shoot their electrodes out. Because i never seen one. They get hot. So you just pull the carbon electrode out. And try to do it slowly. But you won't destroy it. Oh, it's hard. Or you could just bend the metal, but it's just try to take it off. So we're showing you what it's coming off. These carbon electrodes are good to making sulfuric acid. And I'll be showing you in the future how to make it with carbon electrodes. Seems really hard. So don't expect it to come very easy. I think it's glued. Just do this. Get it and go like this. Clockwork twice. And it'll be coming out, you see? Here you go. This is a carbon electrode. All that little back right here, it's manganese dioxide. So now I'll be putting on some gloves. Okay, after putting some natural gloves, take this thing right here off. Okay, I took it off. And just put it right here. And all of this, pure manganese dioxide with some contaminants with ammonia chloride. So now, just get a scoop and with the beaker get everything inside here so I'll be showing you when that's so after taking all the manganese dioxide this is what I'm left with manganese dioxide and this is my zinc metal and my carbon electrode so to test if it's manganese dioxide, it will decompose hydrogen peroxide because manganese dioxide is used as a catalyst, which means it's not used in the reaction. Okay, I'm putting some hydrogen peroxide, and you see it reacts with it. And you can see that the gas is pure hydrogen no not hydrogen oxygen to test for it you could just get a get a how do you call it a match stick that's turned off and turn it on and blow it away and put it inside here and it should um, light up again okay 
So this is manganese dioxide, and to purify it, just it's getting warm. To purify it, just get DI water, which I'm getting right now. And a stir rod to have right here. So this is about 60 grams per 100 milliliters of DIY. Okay, that's about it. And the next step, stir it. Stir for a very long time. I'm not gonna filter it because I'm gonna leave it right here for probably a day for everything could be dissolved. So that's what I'm doing. And for the the zinc metal, what I'm gonna do is get a a sandpaper, which you have right here. And sand all the zinc metal, not everything, just the outside, because it may have an oxide layer that could like not be perfect use for some reactions. So that's about it for today. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.